Eagles, welcome to this segment of GVTV. I'm Natalia Barr, here with John Meadows. If students read three of the Gateway titles by March 1st, you'll be eligible for a pizza, brownie, and popcorn party. Go to the library and check those titles out. Seniors, if you need any transcripts sent to colleges, please see Mrs. Gillig in the counseling office. This past Monday was Veterans Day. Here at GV, we love to show our support. Veterans were invited to attend one of five different Grain Valley schools that were selected by the district to host ceremonies for the veterans. Even though Monday was Veterans Day, that's not the only day to show our thanks for a veteran. So here in GV TV newsroom, we like to say thank you. Thank you for all that you give for this country. Color Guard tryouts are tonight from 6 to 9.15 and tomorrow, Saturday, from 3 to 6.15 at Stony Point Elementary School. And get excited, Eagles, because Tuesday, November 26th, is the annual faculty versus students basketball game. If you'd like to play in the game, please see Mr. Jakes or Mrs. Bolt to purchase a chance to play and guarantee a spot on the team. It would be $10. Focus is raising money for shoes by selling nuts, candy, and or popcorn. Order as soon as you can. The longer you wait, the less chance you have to get what you want. This run and started November 1st and will continue on until December 17th. The Missouri Mavericks are offering once again a night with the Mavericks for Grain Valley Schools. Tickets are only $13. Bring the whole family and enjoy. Ellison services are still being provided. Please see design directions in the life directions classroom in order to order your items. So a huge shout out to Jordan Morrison and Devin Felfo for playing in the Mo Can All-Star Volleyball Match this Sunday at Avila. It starts at 5.30. Go and support your fellow Eagles. The blood drive this week went very well. Thanks for all of you that supported it. Congratulations to Jordan Morrison, Michael Pelham, and Allison Gordon for being in the top 20 of Battle of the Brains with their project Right into the Future at Summit Technology Academy. What an honor to have made the top 20. Many of the classes at the high school have been voting for your project and excitedly await the results, so keep us updated on your progress. And that's all for now. Here's David Hudgen with Grand Valley Sports. Hey there, NFL fans. Have you guys voted for your favorite players yet? If not, Google search the NFL Pro Bowl for 2014 and make sure to vote for them. First, make selections by scrolling up and down the list, and then choosing players, and then moving on to the next group. When finished, submit final ballot. And now to Timmy with a word on the cross-country team. Thanks, David. The boys and girls cross-country team competed at State in Jefferson City this week in closing out our 2013 fall sports, as the boys team got 12th place out of 16 and the girls getting 14th out of 17. Great job, boys and girls. Now back to you, David, for winter sports. Congratulations to all those who made the girls and boys Grand Valley basketball teams and the wrestlers whose season is also underway. And if those are who are not participating in a winter sport, they may also do after-school weights, which are starting this week. And all you have to do is bring your body and a mind to work. Now back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, David. Now we're going to head out to Chandler with news about the Powder Puff game. What has been your guys' favorite experience so far this year? Our favorite experience is for some of the juniors coming together to create one unit. And what about for you guys? It's a good opportunity for our senior class to bond and get close before we graduate. And what have also been some strengths for you guys this year? Our strengths are probably how hard we work and get along, and our coaches are pretty cool, and we're kind of like the Chiefs. You don't really expect us to win, but we probably will. Okay, and how about for you guys? Well, they're definitely not going to win, but we have a lot of athletic girls who will be aggressive and will play good. Thanks, guys. And now on to Sarah, who will interview some coaches. Thanks, Chandler. I'm here with senior coach Bryce Quinn and junior coach Blake Lacey. I want to ask you guys, how did you guys prepare your team? Um, uh, there's a lot of crying, a lot of skin, knees, a lot of Band-Aids, uh, but we pulled through. It was terrific. Thank you, Bryce. And Blake. Yeah, well, we ran a lot of gassers, and uh, we ate a lot of McDonald's, so I think we're well prepared. Awesome. Okay, so how hard, or was it hard, to coach girls? Um, just a little difficult, uh, a little dramatic, as you imagine, but you know what? They're a good set of girls, and overall, I love them. <laughs> Thank you. And Blake? Well, you know, they, they like to talk, as we all know, and uh, I actually had to get a bullhorn to yell at them because they would not stop talking. Wow, well, that's interesting. Thanks guys. And now to Chandler with more interviews with outsiders and more information about Powder Puff. Thank you. Thanks Sarah. Now let's talk to some underclassmen on their thoughts on the Powder Puff game. Um, I think the seniors gonna win this um, Powder Puff. Yeah, that's, that's it. <laughs>
I think the juniors are going to win because they're the underdogs and they have the younger legs, so they're faster. I think the seniors will win because they have a lot more people and they're actually ready to play and they wanted to do it first and the juniors really don't have that much confidence. Thanks guys, come support your girls tonight at 7 o'clock. Be there. Thanks Chandler. Nana Snyder with one of our local businesses. Restored Nutrition is a cool new nutritional shop that just opened up on Grand Valley Main Street. Restored Nutrition is all natural and all nutritional. They offer a variety of items such as shakes, which can range anywhere from pina colada to French toast. Restored Nutrition also offers a variety of creams, lotions, shampoos, and conditioners. For anybody looking to lose weight, Restored Nutrition offers activities such as family activities and cardio drumming. And for any bodybuilders out there, Restored Nutrition also has all nutritional and all natural supplements. Great story. Thanks, guys. Here's Reagan with information about the Grain Valley Blood Drive. Have you ever wanted to give back more than just money? Donating blood can save a life. This year, some of your Grain Valley students were high school heroes by participating in the 2013 Superhero Blood Drive. We talked to Mrs. Russer about this year's blood drive. When we asked her why the blood drive was important, she answered, Everyone needs blood, and sometimes you could be in a life-threatening situation, and it's nice to have donors out there. We also asked, where does the blood go? She answered, we use the community blood center so the blood stays local. It's something small that you can do in your local area to help save a life. Hi Eagles, join your local Grain Valley Theater, B&B Theaters, to uh, see some movies this weekend. Some that are already out are Thor, The Dark World, Free Birds, Ender's Game, Captain Phillips, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2, Las Vegas, and Gravity 2D. Come down and join it for a mission rate. are only $9 for adults, $7 for seniors, and $7 for students and childs or $5.50. Our elementary school honor choirs are ready to help get everyone in the Christmas spirit next Thursday night at the annual Mayor's Tree Lighting and Holiday Festival. This City of Grain Valley event includes many fun activities for you, your family, and our community. The fun begins at 6 p.m. at Armstrong Park. Just a reminder that next Thursday through Saturday, the high school will be putting on a production of Seussical the Musical. They have been working hard since September to perfect their show. Thanks to the fundraisers put on, they will be able to purchase new costumes and props. The stage has been set, the costumes are ready, and all they need now is an audience to fill the empty seats. Tickets are $5 for students and $7 for adults, and the show starts at 7. Be sure to come check it out. Back to you in the studio. Another congratulations goes out to the 13 band students that made All-District Band. And the 18 who received an honorable mention. Lydia Cole. Daniel Craig. Sydney Forgey. Jordan Franks, Cody Grasher, Zach Graysinger, Lily Herring, Brianna Hunt, Jacob Jones, Katie Jones, Kristen McCormick, Hunter McVeigh, Dalton Richard. Kelsey Bloom, Tyler Boland, Austin Booth, Jamie Cannon, Riley Crabtree, Garrett Ewens, Amber Fundenberg, Sadie King, Abigail Lahone, Charlotte Lesky, Jake Leinberg, Caitlin McCain, Helen Putman, Cole Schultz, Connor Stahl, Brock Weekly, Kaylee Wilmoth, Ashley Zades. That's all for today. Thanks for joining us on this segment of GVTV. Don't forget, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at GVHS Eagle Media. And remember, stay classy, GV. Mm -hmm.